In 2003, a team studying the male or Y chromosome in Asian men made an astonishing discovery. 8% or roughly 16 million men in Central Asia share a common male ancestor who lived around 900 years ago. There was really only one candidate. The warrior king Genghis Khan started a dynasty that impregnated whole nations for more than 150 years. Genghis Khan's grandson, Kublai Khan, had a harem of 7,000 women when Marco Polo visited him in China. And those women were cycled through Kublai Khan's bedroom, not, you know, willy-nilly, but at the time of their maximum fertility. This was the business of establishing a genetic dynasty. The Darwinian idea of the dominant alpha male and passive female ruled evolutionary biology until the 1970s. John Maynard Smith was one of the four or five most important evolutionary theorists in history. Maynard Smith observed that while the alpha males were fighting for breeding rights, the females were having sex with subordinates. He called this the sneaky effort strategy. For the first time, female choice was as important as male competition. <laughs> 